Yes, I did notice that Noel Mark was named the second best French player of the year. And the other two guys that finished in the voting are both PSG stars, and they've dominated Ligue 1 forever. Oh, I'm very worried about it. And you do realize the transfer window opens tomorrow. I'm thinking I might just unplug my phone. We'll see. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 29, Football Manager 21. This is our journeyman save. We are at Leicester, and our striker, Noel Mark, has scored 40 goals in the calendar year with 11 assists. And he has really popped onto the scene this year, enough so that several big clubs, including Barcelona, are talking about potentially a $117 million deal to bring him on board. I don't know if we'll be able to fight off those kind of offers. But we have at least one more day before the transfer window opens. But that's also when our next match is with Liverpool. Taking a look at the run we've been on since last episode, we beat Newcastle 2-0, Bristol City 2-1, Brentford 3-1. Mets, we beat 4-1 to one to finish perfect in group stage. That was, again, with a heavily rotated squad. Crystal Palace beat us a couple of days after that, so that was a little disheartening. The good news was Arsenal lost that day as well. Rotherham, we beat 5-0. Noel Mark, we've offered him a new contract that day, and he responded with a hat trick. And then Man United stunned us 4-1. to one. And that is telling as they are the one team really within striking distance of us. We're on 40 points after 19 matches. Man United is 38 after 19. And we're pretty close. Only two goals separate us in goal differential. Noel Mark is the top goal scorer for us this year with 15. And he is also the top goal scorer in the Premier League. Jamie Romain with nine assists, and we're str still struggling to get him into the roster on a regular occurrence. And Aaron Fowler, eight yellow cards, but he has found himself the odd man out on the back line. I play Liverpool uh, tomorrow in game. We'll come back for Liverpool highlights, and then we'll play Reading, who we drew in the FA Cup third round. So that's what we'll be covering this episode. So we'll also be keeping our ears open for any bids that are coming in. And some more transfer rumors. Schalke looking at a $131 million deal to bring Noel Mark on board there. I wonder, is it who's interested in him? So right now it's just Stoke and Schalke, but there's a lot of rumors out there. Luckily, he does not have a release clause. But the transfer window has now rang open, and I am expecting a lot of calls to be coming in. Noel Mark is named December's English Premier League Player of the Month. Seven goals in five appearances. He's also the Young Player of the Month. I think that's the second time this season. Liverpool were in seventh position when we kicked off. Mark crossed into Graves, and he beats Macamba, and that put Leicester up 1-0 in the third minute as we strike early. They go with a header at the near post, and it goes in. Hart beating Solis for the equalizer. And Baffer in the 37th minute, bringing it up to the touchline, across to the back post, and it's Romain with the header for the score, making it 2-1. In the 64th minute, they break inside. Gerber gets turned around and beat him inside out. There was the equalizer for Liverpool in the 65th minute. We get the ball. We come right back. It's into Noel Mark. He crosses up Makamba, and that's the game winner. 3-2 to Leicester. Actually, no, it's not the game winner. 
Premature Celebration. Solis with the save, but he doesn't get enough on it, and Ramadani puts in the equalizer in the 73rd minute. In the waning 10 minutes, it's over the top. Mark dinks the keeper, and that's a brilliant goal. That is certainly going to be on a lot of highlight reels. He finishes with a brace. It's 4-3 in the Noel Mark show. Melvin Gerber was injured. He'll be out just a couple of days. And Mark, two more goals. You want to talk about dominance. 21 goals in 23 matches across all competitions. 17 goals in 19 matches in the Premier League, playing a 7.48. His form has been through the roof. Uh, his results have been through the roof. And he and he's actually declining, uh, which is crazy. <laughs> he's only 21 years old. We've got a few days to the Reading match, so I will be right back with that. But I will keep you in the loop if any transfer business transpires. Barcelona looking at our 20-year-old defender, Desilban Hilden, valued at $58 million, and they're looking at a bid around 113 Stoke looking at a potential $135 million deal for Noel Mark. So here are the players that we're, we brought in. I mentioned most of them, four of them are very young, inexperienced, not very good. They were basically three-star potential at best. I just did it to bring in some more English kids because I needed them. But the one that we did sign, $37.5 million. And he was the only one. There were only three English peak, uh, youth under the age of 18 that were four-star or better. And he was the only one I could put a bid on. And so we have signed him four-and-a-half-star potential, 16-year-old, center back, right back, certainly not worth $37.5 million, but his value is already up to $22 million with us signing him. So that is good. I guess I'm not happy to have to pay that much, and I certainly need to be a little more diligent about selling English players moving forward. And this is a problem I personally run into every save, I think, in England, because you have the caps on international players, and yet you can get those guys. I mean, we're signing Wonder Kids for. 20 million and this young kid that's <laughs> it's crazy. Well, Mark signs a new contract for 975,000 a month. So that is huge. His value is still at 71 million. Pascarello signs a new deal for 672,000 a month. His value is up to 38 and a half million. Romain has hit his assist bonus, picking up uh, $300,000 for 10 assists in the first half of the season. I mean, look at this kid as a comparison. Five-star potential. I can get him for under $3.5 million, and he's 19 years old. Oh, boy. All right, against Redding, we're going to go with Solis in goal. Licka, Fowler, and Hilden on the back line. Gerver is out uh, nursing uh, an injury. Romain, Baffer, Jasufi, and Felipe in the mid. Wheel moves up to the number 10. Cesar slots up into the number 4. And I need to make him a deep lying forward, I believe. And Mark on the attacking forward. Let's get to it, see if we can get a win. And the kickoff, not a whole lot happening, but it's Romain, a set piece. And he bends it in, and it's Decibal Hildon, his third goal of the season towards the back post. He got a foot on that one and put it into the net. Hopefully he wasn't offsides. Hildon's right here being marked by Clark. Actually, he got ahead on that, so very good job. Lester won, Redding nil in the third minute of action. Got to like that. Not sure what level Redding's at. Championship, probably, maybe farther down. All right, we get another highlight here in the 29th minute. It's Baffer into Cesar. He takes a crack, and that's his eighth goal of the season. Boy, he is making it hard, hard to keep him off the pitch. 
but Graves is also scoring willy nilly. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Boy, God forbid if we ever went to a one striker attack. All right. Baffer runs that down. Fowler, we build it up again. Wheel, it's through to Romaine, and he takes a crack. Moore turns it aside. Data-driven storytelling. It sneaks through the near post and is cleared away. We'll take a set piece there. Romaine is on to it, crossed in, and then poked away and cleared out of danger. Another set piece. Felipe. Uh, I think that was just uh, not really taking the time to do it right. I think there's a little complacency coming in here. And Licka loses it. It's Tate on the run. He is forced to push it back some. We intercept that ball. It's Cesar coming through. Romain again. He takes a crack. And Mark turns the angle on it. Looked like he nutmegged the keeper. And Mark gets credit. And that makes it Lester 3, Redding nil. I want to say he nutmegged him there. So that was good. Just before half. Near post, it's in. Hildon with his second goal of the first half, and we are running away with this one now. 4-0. Moore lumps the ball out in frustration. Hildon at the near post with the header. A 1.17 XG has been converted into four goals, and we are going to just hands in pockets. Don't let your performance levels drop, please. Tell hey, what, we're going to go back to balanced just to slow it down a little bit, try to rest the guys a little bit. Mark is on it. He steals it, lays it off, and it's Josh Wheel, his first goal of the season, and that is Lester 5, Redding nil. I think we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger on a couple of subs here. Um, Michael McNeil. How about you come in for Louis Licka, Carlos Vitor for Baffer, and let's put Phil Hutchinson up front for Mark. We'll go ahead and pull all three subs here early. Don't like doing that, but we do want to get some of our lesser played guys into the mix now. All right, Cesar is going to take this set piece. Oh, and he bends it wide. That had some serious hook. That looked like a golf shot by me. 17 shots to two. Claussen's playing a 5-9. He's been subbed off. I was going to pull Hilden off, but he, he had the two goals. So I knew you guys wouldn't, uh, wouldn't tolerate that. So hopefully he doesn't get hurt because then I'll blame it on you guys. <laughs> Romain just poked it up, and then he blocks it. Big ball, Hutchinson, and it's tipped wide by Moore. All right, Romain takes this set piece. Near post, it's off the woodwork. Vitor runs it down. Is there an offsides there? Doesn't look like it. It's cleared out. We are right back on the attack again. Uh, Felipe's taken down, and that might be a sending off for Rowe, his second yellow, and it is. They're going to go to one up top. And who got the put back? It's Cesar Hildon with the assist. Ninth goal of the season for Cesar. I believe that's his second for this match, and it's 6 0. Call off the dogs. Jamie Romain playing a 9.0, 8.9. Hildon playing a 9.0, 9.1. There we are at the whistle. 6 nothing victory. And it's not going to get any easier than that. Happy with the result. We got some good minutes for quite a few players that needed it. 
and deserved it. So the draw is in two days, I think on the 7th. So let me get up to that so we can have the draw and see who we're going to be playing in the fourth round. All right, fourth round action. We have the draw coming up. Let's see, we've got two champions, well, a few champion sides. We've got Fleetwood from League One. We've got Mansfield from League One. So there's quite a few League Ones in here. So we'll just kind of go through this until we pop up. There we are. So we're going to get Fulham from the championship. And we'll power through the rest of these. And there we go. All right, so there's your draw for the fourth round. We get Fulham, who are winning the championship. So not the easiest draw. Taking a look at competitions, we are now... Four points clear of Arsenal, who have climbed back to second position. And we are now double Arsenal's points after their losing run. We are still going into the knockout stages, and that starts in mid-March. So that's something to look forward to there. I think they want us to reach the fifth round at a minimum. So I think the fourth round is a pretty big deal. We'll come back for that. So let's come back for Stoke Highlights, Fulham on camera, and then uh, we'll also discuss any transfer news that we've got at that time. Hopefully we can keep a hold of our, our players. Uh, let's jump into the squad and just take a look at who's wanted. All right, so Kukelis is wanted for loan. Solis is wanted by Tottenham on a transfer. Graves is wanted by Stoke. Jasufi's wanted by Real Madrid. Rowe is wanted by West Ham. I could sell him. Again, the only problem is he's English. Richard Gibson, Vitor. See, none of my none of my foreign players are really wanted. You know who's not on that list? Noel Mark is not on that list. I guess the interest in him is cooled. Or they figure with the new contract, it's uh, more than they can afford. Very interesting. Uh, but you notice they, they go after a lot of our English guys. That's interesting. All right. Well, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to stay up to date on Daily Football Manager content. And guys, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.